Hello everyone, uh, I'm Anthony Huynh. In this demo, I will show you three main features of uh, system power protections I see. The first one is inverse limiting. The second feature is output short circuit protections. And the third one is input reverse voltage and current protections. So I'll be using uh, this board right here. This is a demo board that we built to uh, to show case the features of, of the uh, protection circuitry. Uh, there, there are a couple of circuits. Here, I'll be using one of the circuit, which is a tiny circuit over here. Let me put it closer to you so you can see it. It's very tiny. It's about one centimeter by um, about uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, width. And uh, there's a lot of components here on this board. The purpose is to uh, uh, show you um, to, to exercise uh, different features on the board. And I show you a little bit briefly in the back here, there's a bunch of circuitry. So these are uh, switches to control the testing of this board. And um, with the help of this uh, USB oscilloscope, we'll be able to monitor the voltage, the current uh, of the system. Uh, we, can, uh, we also have a capability of switching the input capacitor to different values. So you can see the effect of inrush current limiting during, at that point. So this total thing here is pretty much like a little lab that you have um, for uh, looking at uh, these uh, behavior of the boards. So now let me uh, power up the board and then we you know, use a GUI. I show you the, the, the feature of the GUIs and use a GUI to control this board and display everything um, on, the, on the GUI screen. All right, let's let me uh, do that. All right, so the the, uh, the board is power up here. The GUI. Uh, there's two parts, as I mentioned, uh, on this board. One of them is Max 17608. This is a 4.5 volt to 60 volt uh, protection IC with one amp current capability in a in a tiny 3.3 millimeter. Uh, there's another part here, Max 17. Uh, 525, this is a 6 amp part. So uh, for today's purpose, we just look at one of them. So uh, on this circuit here, this is just a circuit of the protection IC input on the left side, output on the, on, on, on the right side. Inside of the IC here is a fully integrated of so two different power MOSFETs for uh, inverse current limiting, for output short circuit uh, limitings and the current sensing elements also integrate inside. Now, the second FET is the, this is like a back-to-back -back configuration that uh, allow you to totally disconnect the current from going from left to right, as well from right to the left. So left to right is to protect uh, during inrush current limiting, uh, during output short circuit. The right to left current blocking is to prevent reverse current uh, during a input short or a reverse voltage condition uh, that occur you know, on the input side. There's many uh, different features here uh, that I will not go through totally in this demo, uh, but one of the things that we uh, have here is the set IP. pin. This is the pin to set the current limits. So uh, for example, this part is a 1M part, but we can actually choose to set the current limit to uh, either 1M or something less than that uh, for the applications. All right, so uh, that's an overview of the circuits. Now let's go to the one of the tests. So the first one is uh, inverse current limiting. So over here, I have um, this button here to choose a uh, different uh, setting current level from 25%, 50%, 75%, uh, 100%. And also this is the load capacitance uh, of the circuits. And as I hit run, you can see here that at time zero, the voltage is being uh, turned on. The current is limited to 1M. So during that time, it, it, because the inrush current is controlled at 1M, the uh, output voltage rise up as a linear rate of, you know, psi following the equation I equal to C dV dt. Right? So it takes this much time to, for the output to charge from zero to uh, 24 volt linearly with a constant current limiting. Uh, we can uh, reduce the current, say, to 50%. So what would happen here is at 50%, uh, we will reduce or, or limit the current to half an amp, 
So with less current charging output capacity, you would expect that the output voltage to ramp up even slower. So let's try that. So here it is. So now the current is limited to 5 amp, and the output ramp up to about twice as long. All right, let's um, go to a different test. Let's go to, let me stop this first, and then go to the next test. This is output short circuit test. Okay, so uh, same thing. If I set the current to 50%, uh, that would be half of an amp current limiting during a short. The output capacitance doesn't really make much difference here in terms of short circuit testing. So let me run that. Okay, so there it is. So, so initially, uh, the output voltage is at 24 volts. So at time zero, we applied a short circuit on the output and the output voltage is being shorted to ground. And you can see that the current is limited to half of an M for about 25 milliseconds, uh, this, which is a T blank uh, time. It's allowed the circuit to be in short circuit condition for this much time, and then the part will shut down. Uh, there is an initial current uh, spike fall, flow out of the uh, circuit. It's really dependent on how much capacitance uh, you have on the output. And there's a little spike here, but overall the current's limited at that. Uh, we'll try 100% and run again. Now at one uh, at uh, at at one amp at 100%, current current is being limited to one amp. Okay, and and the part shut down. Um, it's just like before. Now. Um, Let's get set back to the fifty percent, and we well, said so there, there are three different type of current limiting uh, response mode. One of them is latch off mode, which I showed you before. What it does is that when it detects a short circuit condition, it will limit the current for a short time and then turn off. Now with auto retry mode, and let's try that one. What it does is it will shut down as before, but it will wait for a while and then turn back on. And if you uh, look farther to the right, it will see that it keep repeating as long as the short circuit is there. It will turn on, wait for 24 milliseconds, see that the short still there, shut down. And then during this uh, this uh, auto retry timeout period, it's actually allow for the circuit to cool down as well as uh, prevent or reduce the power dissipation of circuits and then start again. So auto re restart, mode is a very useful in the system where you have a momentary tensions load condition. The part can shut down for a short time, but auto restart. So there's no need for um, people intervention to restart the whole system. Continuous mode is a, a seldom used, but in cases where you need to have the current to be continuously limited. So let, let me try that. So, so this is a continuous limit uh, mode. So the current is being limited because of the resolution of the oscilloscope. It's hard to see. It 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 uh, limited at uh, at fifty percent of what we want here, half an amp. And um, a, a word of caution is that in this mode, because you have a lot of current flowing through the system, uh, there there be a lot of power dissip dissipation in the protection IC. So this is uh, usually it run until the part hit thermal limits. So um, Normally we see people using either latch off mode or the retry mode. So now let's go to the final one. This is the input short protections. And let me try to run that. Okay, so on the bottom trace, the uh, blue trace here is the input voltage and the purple is the output voltage. So initially the input and output voltage are coincide each other. At time zero, we short the input to ground, okay? So with our reverse voltage protection, you will actually have a short on the input and output. So the output would be dragged down together with the input voltage. Uh, of course, this is not a very good um, uh, condition for the circuit. Uh, it, it would cause bad complications if you drag the output down together with input voltage. So that's why we need to have reverse voltage protection. So you can see here that the reverse protection switch, switch off very quickly and allow the output voltage to stay afloat while the input is shorted. 
And during this short time, this is the look at the time uh, frame here. There's only a few microseconds that the current, this is the reverse current, this is the current of flowing from the output back to the input side. Okay, the current surged up to, um, in this case, about half an amp, uh, just re really limited to how much uh, resistance in the power pad and how much capability of the output I can drive back to the input. Of course, we want to keep this current to be as small as possible. You see that current is spike, spikes up, but then uh, be, being controlled because the uh, protections, reverse protection switch is turned off. And then at some time later, the input uh, is allowed to switch back on and everything go back to normal. Uh, the, um, in, in this uh, test, we have another option just to do the indefinite shorts of the input. And let's run that. Okay, so here it is. Again, same thing at time zero, the input is shorted to ground. And you can see that the condition, this condition can be there indefinitely and the output voltage is being uh, protected by not uh, being dragged down with, together with the input. Uh, if you look at this one in a longer time scale, of course, the output voltage is going to be depleted uh, eventually because there's nothing supplying to it anymore. So just the output capacitor is going to be discharging to whatever load that was uh, applying to it. So again, uh, let me go back to the overview here. This is an overall protection circuit uh, comprehensive protection that has all everything integrated inside. And I've shown you the interest current limiting features. I've shown you the output short circuit protection features, and I show you the input short circuit protection feature as well. Uh, also the capability of setting different current limiting. Uh, there's all the features like under voltage lockout, UVLO, and other things that are uh, not covered in this demo. Uh, that'd be a, a topic for a uh, next uh, demo. Or if you need more information, please uh, visit Maxim Integrate website. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.